Fanny pack? Wow, I forgot the name of it. Hi friends, welcome back. My name is Addie of Well Loved Clothing, where we love everything vintage, thrift, sustainable, upcycling, and self-expressive. So today I'm so excited because we are doing more summer styling. And I struggle a little bit with some summer styling. I love textures and layers and all kinds of heavy pieces. And so when summer rolls around and the Georgia heat starts coming in, it gets really difficult for me to style outfits that I still feel really me and self-expressive in. So I am going to do some pinspiration today to hopefully kick off some creativity. So pinspiration is where I take an image from Pinterest or Instagram and use it to inspire outfits using the clothes that I have. So I'm going to shop my closet and create outfits that are inspired by that look. My goal today is not really to copy that look, but to take the silhouette or patterns or just the overall vibe of the outfit and create something that feels very me and hopefully inspires some creativity in my wardrobe for the summer. All of the images I'm going to use today I have linked below and you can also follow me on Pinterest where I put a lot of these images and there's a whole lot more inspiration there too. But I have several super fun outfits that we are going to go after today and I'm so excited to style some summer up since it has been 90 degrees plus outside recently, and I get sweaty. So let's start doing some summer styling. Okay, so for image number one today, we are going to go after this gorgeous look. You're probably already thinking, oh, I know exactly what dress she's going to go for with that, and you're probably right, but I just love everything sheer for the summer. I think using sheer pieces like this, especially with all of the volume and drama, is still a really lightweight and flowy summery way to do some really interesting eclectic looks. So I love this. I also love the kind of bathing suit bottom, high-waisted underwear thing she has going on. We'll see if I do that or more of like a bike shorts look, but I'm just really inspired by the over-the-top fun of this look. So I'm super excited. Let's just go after this one. love with this look. This turned out exactly like I was hoping. And I still think it evokes that amazing dramatic vibe while still being really cool and flowy. I just like the bike shorts. I think it's kind of fun to have that black contrast. So maybe I'll do some like orange bathing suit bottoms at some point. I also love the orange bag with this periwinkle and I thought it just pulled from that inspiration image really nicely. One thing that I really love about this outfit is she has those chunky, it looks like docks or some kind of loafer, but I don't really have any chunky loafers. And so I just took what I do have and use my little lace-up boots. And it gives off the same feel and also just looks so cool. Hey, okay, there we go. <laughs> and this is just really cute. I feel like I'm gonna wear this a ton because it's really just bike shorts and a tank top with these sheer pieces to it. But I'm feeling dramatic and like me. So let's move on to the next Pinspiration image. Look number two today is so dang cute and I feel like it's exactly what I want to wear all season long. So it is this gorgeous image. I love this. I just recently found this creator on Instagram and she is just so fun. Her outfits are amazing, but this one specifically feels so summery and fun. And I love how she still has a print clash, but still using that pattern trouser to do some clashing and some color mixing, but it still looks so cohesive. So I'm going to try to do something this way. I don't have a ton of pairs of trousers that are printed, but I'm going to try. I might end up in a skirt, but we'll see. So let's do this look. gosh, this outfit is so cute and I feel so good in it. I had completely forgotten about these pants. They're pink linen checked trousers with the high waist and the wide leg. So they're perfect for this look. And I wanted to do that print mix. And I've actually worn this top with these pants before. But for this one, it is like a square neck wider top. But I tied a little piece of string around the center of it to give it that bra top look. And then I threw on some orange shoes and some orange earrings just because I loved her little pop of accessories going on. And I think that this is just perfect and feels so me with that touch of prairie but still kind of beachy vibes. And I feel so inspired. So let's keep on moving to the next look. 
Our next look is just gorgeous. I think it's so elegant and beautiful. So it is this beautiful look and it just feels like yacht club couture kind of with the big hat and the checkers. But I love the simplicity of this where it is just a skirt, a white tank top, a hat and some matching accessories. But it just makes such a big statement with not only the size of the hat but also the silhouette of this outfit and the one shoulder. There are some like quirky details to it. So I think I'm going to take this idea and do quirky details to a simpler kind of outfit. So let's go after this look. Okay, this is absolutely adorable and I feel so posh and so ready for the summer. I honestly feel like this would kind of be like a more chill derby outfit too. It's just very cute. I love this top. I think I took the idea of like a structured kind of different top with a really beautiful sort of classic skirt and I love the checkered pattern with the white tank and so I have this adorable little bow top that ties in the front here and it's just really dramatic and then put it over a little prairie skirt with some clogs and some really dangly white earrings because I love that she had those statement earrings to kind of fill that upper space. And then of course the sun hat and I did a little straw bag since I was kind of keeping it neutral. It matched my shoes and thought it went really well with the skirt, but I am loving this look and I feel so inspired, but it's so fun and such a different take on like a simple outfit. So I'm ready for my yacht tour. <laughs> Let's keep going. Okay, we're gonna take it to a very casual place because majority of the time in the summer, I do like to wear more casual things, just something with sneakers, like shorts, t-shirt kind of vibe, but I always want a different sort of fun way to do that. So the next image is this, and I just love this. I love the summer take on the sweatsuit. So I don't have a matching sweat set, but I do think it will be really fun to maybe build something that mimics the same idea. And I love a good hat and sneakers outfit in the summer too, whether I'm going hiking or just walking around downtown, but this feels a little more elevated than just like jean shorts and a t-shirt. So we're gonna go after this and hopefully I can build something. Oh, I'm getting an idea. Yeah, let's do this one. Okay, I had no idea how this was gonna look, but I am loving this. I feel like it is so on point with this picture, with the green and the sneakers and the hat. It's just so cute, but I love that I could still add my own touch with this sweater vest that's just kind of textured, but still really open sides. And then a fun little sports bra moment underneath, but then the green check shorts are also just really cute. I love that it still feels casual, but put together. This is like groceries running around when I want to be really chill. So another great way to make a matching set when you don't have one is just to find colors that are maybe pretty close or patterns and colors that go really well together. And then you kind of mimic the whole matching set thing, which is so right now and so cute, but I am loving this and loving that we found this in my closet. So let's keep on shopping my closet. Okay, this next look is Karen Britchick because she is just the queen. So this is the look that we're going after today. It is so simple, but so elegant and beautiful. And her color choices are just amazing. And I was super inspired by this skirt because I have some really shiny kind of greeny blue pants that I think will mimic this vibe a little bit. But I love the idea of wearing more luxury fabrics like satin to a farmer's market. Cause you can tell she's just like getting some produce, but I am always going for something simple with a lot of statement in the summer and so cool with that little tank top so we're going to go after this and I am pumped because I'm getting a really good idea now so let's do it oh my gosh I am absolutely loving this I don't think I would have thought to put this together which is crazy crazy because the colors are so gorgeous and I'm always looking for more ways to wear these incredible pants. So I started knowing that I had these pants, but they're in satin. And so I thought that they would be so cute to kind of mimic this Karen Britchick look. I looked in my workout tops and I found this amazing tank top with this really cute little cutout detail, which is also so right now. And I love that I just have never thought to wear this like 
on a normal everyday basis, but I absolutely will now because it's so cute this way. But I feel like it's really going with the silhouette and then I toss on a little yellow heel because I love her yellow strappy heels. I did a little gold earring and then just my market bag and I thought it just was very casual and chill but still very cute. And I'm really glad that I figured out a way to do this outfit because I just love it. So super cute, let's keep going. This next look is so much fun. So it is this look, and I love the overall dress, but I'm always looking for ideas to wear overalls in the summer. I just think they're really cute and they're really comfortable, and mine are all super like loose linen-y overalls or denim, but they're always loose, and so I think they're really comfortable for summer days when you still want to kind of be flowy. So I love this look because of the sheer shirt underneath the overalls, and I love to use overalls as something a little more elevated, so putting something underneath it that's maybe more feminine or has ruffles or is sheer and just clashes those two kind of masculine feminine ideas it's one of my favorite things to do so we're going to go after something similar to this while keeping it sort of simple elegant but also wacky different and fun so let's do some overalls This right here is a summer uniform for me. This is so cute. I love this sheer shirt. You're probably going to see it in like every YouTube video this summer, especially with those cute little floral details on the sleeve. But I love it with these overalls because it takes the overalls to a kind of nicer, fancier place. And I took my little white bag because I loved her little white bag with her outfit, but then I wanted to pop some color. So I did a yellow earring and a little yellow mule and it just feels very me and very cute. And I love that this picture is not necessarily exactly my style, but I can take it and make it into my style with the pieces that I own. So I love this. Let's keep moving to the next one. Oh, I'm feeling so inspired and I'm really excited for this next one. We're going to keep it kind of casual and do this. I just love these kinds of looks. Like a maximalist, outdoorsy thing, but I love the almost color blocking with the green shirt and the green skirt, but them being different shades. And I'm always a fan of throwing on a sneaker with something that doesn't really feel like a super sneakery outfit. I also think her chunky necklace just takes it to a very cool streetwear place. And this is the kind of streetwear that just makes me so excited. And I have a lime green skirt that I think is so perfect for this. So we're gonna go after this look and see what we can come up with. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. I, <laughs> I'm kind of speechless because this is so dang cute. And I have never thought to do this before. I love the monochrome. I love the two different shades of green and then the little pop of yellow on this shirt with the polo thing is so cute too. But what I love about this look is she has this really cool green thing going on, but then she does a pop of blue bag. So I did a little pop of blue bag, my gold chunky necklace, and then a white sneaker. And it still feels very feminine with the fit of the skirt. This is just incredible and I'm loving it. I've got a couple more amazing outfits, so let's keep going. I love this next look. And I'm just now realizing that I'm doing the whole collar thing that she's doing. So it is this picture. This is Bella B on Instagram. So this look I think is so much fun for summer because it's very casual, but still has a lot of drama and interest. I just love the graphic tee and the pattern dress. I love the maxi with the t-shirt over it. I feel like recently I've seen a lot of graphic tees with midi skirts and keeping things kind of flowy for summer. And I love that silhouette. I think anything oversized is just really comfortable and I dress for comfort first. So we are going to go after this look and see if we can channel this goddess of a person. So let's do it. I love how aggressively quirky this is. Like it's just haphazard, but fun and a little weird. And this feels maybe like 
more late summer, early fall because of the boots. But if I did like a white sandal with it, I think it would be a lot more summery. I love the addition of this collar, but then I also am kind of digging this half up. I put a little scrunchy hair tie piece around it and it's just super cute. I toss on my favorite fanny pack, but it has some yellow in it and so it adds some fun to this. But this is super cute and I feel like gives off the same vibes as this picture. So moving on to the next look. Next look is very, very me. I feel like when I saw this image, I was like, oh, I have so many ideas for this because it's the kind of outfit that I just love. So it is this look. I love anything with a jacket, shorts, and a blazer are my favorite. I typically do like bra top shorts and blazer in the summer, but I love her print mixing, her color clashing, and then that bandana to just tie it all together. It's just really fun. So I am just gonna see what I can do with this, but I'm really going for the shorts top blazer bandana look. So let's do this look. loved outfit this is absolutely it the blazer the colors the bandana the platforms I can't handle it it is so cute and I don't think I would have ever put these pieces together I love that she had this fun bright kind of patterned bandana and so from there I knew I wanted to do a yellow purple and orange kind of look and so this is just very cute and I could totally see this running around town I did some little platform purple sandals to bring some purple down to my shoe and then a dark purple bag to just add a different pop to it, but still kind of keep in the colors of the outfit. This blazer is also linen, and so it's super lightweight, perfect for summer. But I'm loving this inspiration image, and I feel like this might become one of my outfit equations for summer, especially since I can pop the blazer off if it gets a little too hot, or even wear it down here because this is super cute, and just run around town and look fabulous while doing it. So I love this. Let's move on to another inspiration pick. Okay, this next look is more so inspired by an idea. So it is this look, and yes, it is very wintry. I am not about to do a layered bra thing over a long sleeve shirt, but I love the idea of the layered bra slash corset with jeans and some kind of piece underneath. So also don't limit yourself to a specific season because you never know what's going to inspire you. I just find the colors and layers of this really inspiring. And I also pinned this image, which is also super wintry, but I loved the yellow and the orange with the tan corset and I do have a little white corset that I'm thinking of doing with this kind of look so let's see what we come up with super unexpectedly loving this look. While I was putting it together, I was like, I don't know, I'm not sure, but once it was all together, it just feels so cute and simple. And also, I am wearing jeans, which is super rare, but I love the fit of these Levi's 501s. I also love doing the little black clog, because there's some black in this graphic design on this tee that I thought would be fun to kind of bring to the shoes. I also brought it to the bag with this little red bag to just add a pop to this look. So I'm kind of playing with both ideas with like the bra layered over the shirt with the jeans and strappier shoe such a fun way to do a simple t-shirt kind of look and I loved just tossing my hair in a clip and adding some big hoops to just be that extra touch on this outfit but this is really cute and I'm probably going to find some different ways to wear this corset too because I am loving it this way so let's keep going to the next look for my last look today it just kind of I saw this image and just loved it and felt very like, I'm just gonna pin this and see what happens. So it is this picture. It's not necessarily an outfit, but there's something really inspiring about the color usage and the cutouts and the long sleeve with this bun that just has the busy accessories in it. And I am just inspired by this. So I don't really know what's going to come out of it and there's not really any specific goal, but I also encourage you that when you find an image that inspires you and just makes you think or makes you happy, then just screenshot it or pin it because those are the kinds of pictures that I go to whenever I'm feeling a little blah and they always give me some life to create something new. So I don't know where we're going with this, but we're just going to maybe end up with a really magnificent dress. So let's just do this.
Okay, I just need to talk about this now. Oh my gosh. So as you saw, this is a double sleeve gown, but it's actually a little bit too small for me. I think it's a kid's gown, to be honest, but it is so gorgeous. And so I wanted to do this like cool open back thing that this picture has going on. And so I just kind of put it on and started messing with it and ended up with legitimately the cutest little back ever. So this is actually the other sleeve. I do need to do some more tucking and pinning and whatnot here. I love that this came from this image. I truly never would have thought of doing this without this image because I just saw the beautiful florals and that sheer gorgeous kind of formal fabric. And so this is even a really fun way to be inspired to do different things with the clothes that you already have and tuck them or pin them or sew them to make them look a little different and get even more wear out of your wardrobe. So this is now my favorite summer gown and I'm definitely going to figure out how to wear this to the next wedding that I have because it is so good. So thank you so much for shopping my closet with me today and styling up these amazing outfits. I hope you're so inspired to get into your closet and wear what you have this summer. So I will see you next week. You are well loved. Bye.